Hello. I just wanted to do this quick video. Um, I tried to do it before, but it was too long, and then my phone said it ran out of space. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to condense this as, as short as I can because my so I can clean out some of these files on my phone that I got, so I can free up some space. But I wanted to share um, with you this, these several um, dreams that I had last night that God was um, revealing more to me, more revelation on what I was sharing in the previous video that I that I had done before this one about the dream that I had and about the vision that God showed me about um, the, the vision of Italy, you know, all that peaceful thing with the boat and the water and all that. But he was giving me more revelation on that um, this morning along with um, revelation to, to share with people about witchcraft because it's been running rampant so much lately and a lot of those dreams that I had were like that and had to do with that. Um, but the one I wanted to share with first was about more revelation on that dream that I had, and when he would, God was saying that, showing me that we need to have a, a better perspective of, of our life, you know, than what we have. We have to get the perspective that He has and see things as the way He sees them. As I was sharing before, I won't go all into that because I know I shared it before, and I don't want to, you know, go back into that. But I wanted to get into the the witchcraft thing also, but you know, I, I wanted to talk about. Us having a better perspective and a new mindset, you know, us getting a better mindset and changing our mindsets and seeing ourselves as God sees us and seeing our lives as God sees it, you know, seeing the bigger picture, helping us just to have a bigger vision for ourselves, not such a lowly vision. That's what holds a lot of people back from the plans that God has for them is because they think so lowly of themselves, they can't see a bigger vision. And that's why I, I've, I've talked about before making a vision board and allowing God to show you his vision for you not making your own vision for yourself and let him show you the vision that he has for you and that and you know and you make that as your vision board and, and keep that before you all the time so that you know so that you'll be able to see the visions that had that god has for you and you'll see yourself as he sees you not as the world sees you and not as you see yourself but you'll see yourself as he sees you and then you'll, you'll have a better perspective of your life and a better perspective of, of the way that god sees you you know and wants you to to have things in your life and the things that he wants you to have and do for him and for his kingdom so i wanted to share that and then i wanted to dig into this uh witchcraft thing but because god showed me in several dreams last night I mean, it was like one after another i mean it was just like different scenes it was kind of like the only way i know to describe it is like when you go to the movies and they show you all these previews of different movies that are coming out and that are that are haven't came out yet, but previews of, of movies to come, where they show different scenes from each movie. You know, they go from one scene to this scene to that scene to another scene of another movie, and that's kind of how God was showing me this this thing on witchcraft and um and how many people are getting deceived and will be deceived by witchcraft because the enemy is using that to lure people in because a lot of people have, lack knowledge of it. They don't have a lot of, a lot of knowledge of witchcraft and what attracts witchcraft and what you know the they don't they don't know the, the every little detail of it and i'm gonna i'm gonna do other videos because i can't you know possibly share it on one video It'll be like forever but i'm gonna share it in other videos also i'll be making other videos on this because it's this this it's gotta get revealed it's gotta get to the forefront people gotta understand the importance of this so i wanted to share some scriptures on it from the notes that I shared previously when I did a, a video a while back on witchcraft and I saved my notes and I'm glad I did because I couldn't find the ones that I wanted to share that I had made new notes but I had to change some stuff on my computer so they got, I think they might have got deleted so I'm going to have to try to, to regain those and find them again but I will use the ones that I had previously for now which is um, starting in 1st Samuel 15:23. this is for the rebellion of the sin of divination and arrogance like the evil of idolatry because you have rejected the word of the Lord he has rejected you as king and that's the people that purposely reject God that purposely turn their back on them that knowingly get into this you know into witchcraft and God turns turns his back on it he's like no you, you ain't got no part of my kingdom doing all that stuff that's crazy but they think that they can have their cake and eat it too no God's judgment's falling on people that are knowingly doing that. And I'm not saying that everybody purposely does it. They don't. 
but I just want to open the open people's eyes to this so that they will see you know what how important this is and that it's not nothing to, to just blow off now Leviticus 19:31. do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritualists for your for you will be defied by them I am the Lord your God you'll be defiled by them which means God's saying don't seek out people like that seek him you know don't seek out a medium or a psychic or an astrologist or somebody like that to find out things and a lot of people are so desperate that they're doing that they're going to those mediums and psychics and astrologists and all that stuff not realizing it's all tied into witchcraft and that's how they're getting spells on them and, and they're getting evil things happening to them and they don't know why it's because somebody's risen up an evil altar of witchcraft against them that they don't know and sometimes sadly it can be people you know it can be people you're acquainted with it can be people you're friends with it can be anybody that you i mean you just don't know and you have to ask god to reveal it to you but i'm trying to open this up so that people will see how important this is and it's not nothing to take lightly <laughs> it's something to take very serious let's see and this one in leviticus 20 verse 6 i will set my face against anyone who turns to mediums and spiritualists to produce themselves to protect if I can talk right <laughs> with themselves for wait let me read this over again Jesus I'm reading the wrong well I mean it's the same thing it basically is saying he he's turning his face against those who knowingly turn turn to people like that you know knowingly turn to psychics and mediums and spiritualists for advice and for for insight on their life and insight on the things that are to come you know in the future trying to predict the future more or less nobody can predict the future i mean god knows the future yeah he'll reveal things to you but he's not going to send you to a psychic and a medium and an astrologist to do that no you gotta seek him and seek his face on it because otherwise people god turns his face against people that knowingly do that leviticus 20 verse 20 yeah leviticus chapter 20 verse 27 a man or a woman who is a medium or spiritualist among you must be put to death. You are to store, to stone them, put, stone them. Their blood will be on their own hands, on their own heads. I mean, their blood will be on their own heads. So basically that's saying that any man or woman, no matter who you are, man or woman, that, you know, that who is a spiritualist or a medium among you, that they will be put to death. And God's doing that. He, that's his judgment coming against them. They'll be put to death and they will be stolen. And their blood will be on their own heads. It's not going to be on somebody else's head. You know, that, that they think, you know, they think by putting them spells on people and doing evil things to other people that, that God's going to turn to the person because they're doing it. No, he's going to turn to the source of it, to the witches and the warlocks that are doing this and put them to death. <laughs> They're going to basically really doing it to themselves. It's not really like God's killing them. It's like they're doing it to themselves because they're, they're, you know, rebelling against God and rebelling against his ways and they're going against what he says and they're not listening. They're being rebellious and they're going their own way. So God's turning them over to the base mind like the Bible says. When people do that, they get rebellious and they want to go their own way. Well, God turns them over to it. You know, he turns them over to the enemy. Because, you know, he's not going to go against what a person wants. If that's what they want and they refuse to listen to him, they refuse to listen to the correction, then there's nothing he can do. His hands are tied. He's like, okay, if you refuse to listen to me and you're not going to do what I, I instruct you to and tell you to, then that's the consequences of it. So we got to be sure that we keep ourselves in line with him and ask him to, to show us these things or reveal these things to us because... It's, it's just like I said, we're living in some evil times and, you know, people, is, they have things in their homes that attract things, that attract demons that they don't even realize. It could be jewelry, it could be books, it could be anything, you know, like Buddhist statues or, you know, something that, or like a piece of jewelry or um, just anything, really anything. A demon can attach themselves to anything. It doesn't even matter what it is. I mean, they can attach themselves to anything, so... I don't mean that the things are endless. <laughs> they can attach themselves to any old thing. It doesn't matter if it's a book, a piece of paper, a, a statue, a, a picture, um, anything. 
flower or anything. It doesn't matter. A card, you know, anything that they can attach themselves to. And that's why we have to have the discernment. We have to pray that ask God to give us a deeper and stronger discernment so we can discern those things so we'll know, you know, the, the difference and we'll know what is evil and what ain't evil because if you don't know, you know, like the Bible just says it. His people perish for lack of knowledge. I'm trying to give people the knowledge of it so they'll understand it because God showed it to me in several different um, scenes in my dream last night that the importance of this and how important it is to bring it to the forefront to people because with each scene that I had, basically, and without you know having to go to each of them because there's so many, but basically, with each scene, it was people being deceived and dragged into the enemy's um, enemy's plans and little evil schemes. They were being sucked into it unknowingly because he kept them blind to it, and they were they didn't understand. They didn't see God on it. They didn't even. Um, they had no knowledge of it. Really, they did. They were just like a sitting ducks with them, so to speak. They just didn't have any knowledge of it. They didn't have any understanding of what they were doing. And they were being deceived and, and dragged into it. And I'm sitting there trying to tell them, no, this is witchcraft. And I'm telling them over and over again, this is witchcraft. This is evil. This is the enemy trying to suck you into his plans and trying to, to get you to go his way and, and turn you against God and all this stuff. And they just laughed at me and mocked me and just, you know, acted like it was no big deal. And they were just perishing, you know, right before my eyes. They were just perishing. And it's sad. I mean, that's, it's really sad. But then when I got up, I was like, well, this is exactly what's going on now. And then sadly, more of it's to come, you know, because people are just being deceived and they're being sucked into this. And that's why he told me, he says, I you need to, to bring this to the forefront. And my people need to know. He says, it's time for them to know. It's time for the, the, the veil to be removed from their eyes. You know, the scales to be removed from their eyes so they can see the truth and they will know the truth and then I can help them be free. Because whom the sense that free is free indeed. You know, God will set you free. You just got to want it and desire it and seek him for it and he will set you free. Oh, excuse me. Gracious, I don't mean to yawn. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it is crazy. But I will be doing more videos to come on this because I know like I said I can't cover it all in one um video It'd be too long <laughs> but I will be sharing other other um things on this and I'll be doing other videos to come so be on the lookout for that because I will be opening this up you know piece by piece and bit by bit <laughs> so that people can have the understanding that they need of this because I don't want nobody being deceived I don't want nobody being sucked into the enemy's schemes and, and plans you know, from especially being, you know, the way that, that what he's doing these days, sucking them in with witch, using witchcraft, and that's really what the dreams were all about. It was the enemy sucking people into his plans and then being de them being deceived and sucked into it without even knowing it or realizing it until it was too late. And then they're like, well, what happened? I don't understand. And they were just so confused and, and just, it, it was crazy. It was like chaos. It was like people just running rampant. They were running all over the place, looking for somebody to help them and, and give them some kind of information and they had nothing they had nobody to tell them nothing they were just in panic mode you know and that's when when i got up when god said see this importance of this see how important this is that people need to know this they need to have this this opened up to them so that they will know what's coming so that when it does come <laughs> they will be prepared and they will know what it is so that they won't have to be sucked into the enemy's lies and schemes so i'm gonna be doing hopefully be doing more videos on this to open this up but I just wanted to do this one oh excuse me no uh, I just wanted to do this one to um, open it up a little bit to begin to open it up I know there's, there's so much to <laughs> share on this but I'm gonna dig into it as much as I can and open it up as much as I can because people need to know and I don't want people being deceived I really don't I don't and it's so easy <laughs> sadly it's so easy that how the enemy does this without with people that don't have any knowledge of it they don't have any understanding or anything of it but i will be doing more videos of this to come so I'll be looking for those but i'm going to try to to get back on my computer here and try to find those other notes that i had that explained it more in detail and showed the symbols and showed the different things that people can have in their homes besides the ones that I mentioned, of course, like spiders and snakes and, and statues and jewelry and just, you know, different things that you can have in your home that attract them that you don't even know. But there's so many things. It's just to do all in one video would be <laughs> way too long. So I will be doing more. 
Oh, excuse me. I'm trying not to yawn. I'm so tired. I've been doing stuff all day, but I've been looking in the Word and just really trying to to get some scriptures to share on this besides the ones that I had, but I couldn't find the ones I got on my computer, so i got to do some searching again and try to recover those, but I will be doing more videos on that, like I said, to come, so be looking out for those, and I will talk to you then. Bye-bye.